everybody. Um, you're all very welcome today. And my name is Evelyn McGlynn and uh, from Donegal Women in Business Network. And we thank Anna and Inish Own Development Partnership and Innovation Inish Own Skillnet for inviting us all here today. And I'm particularly looking forward to interview Kate. We had a brief chat yesterday evening and she's definitely an inspiration, a female inspiration entrepreneur. So uh, welcome everybody. So Kate, how are you feeling? Grant. Good, no bother to you. Um, so we had a chat yesterday evening and it, it's, it's just fantastic to see somebody like Kate in um, third, is it third generation, Kate? Yeah, third generation. third generation. So yeah, so just a little bit about Kate, third generation jeweler in the family business, uh, which has been trading now for 60 years. So big celebrations there. Uh, a very accomplished lady, a qualified jeweler and diamond grader, which sounded like a really lovely job. I can imagine doing that as a course and has traveled all over the world, Australia and Ireland, and is back here in Buncrana for the past four years. And she has the most important job of all. She's mum to one little girl. So that's a great start. So fantastic. So tell us, Kate, apart from all that, what would you really like people to know about you possibly that they don't know already or just to sort of fill them in on who is Kate Callahan? Well, basically, really, it's just like the third generation. Um, probably more my part in the business has taken something taking it to a different level, to a different kind of aspect, whereas Dali never really, nor does he want to know about social media or computer or website or anything like that there. So that's something I've nearly had to take on myself, learn it firsthand and kind of prove that that was, this is definitely the way forward and that this is the way that it's gonna, gonna definitely be. So that's probably my next part of my role as well as just doing the day-to-day -day tasks really. And how are you finding that? Because, you know, I was just checking your, your social media accounts and, and whatever, and you're doing a great job. Is that a big challenge for you um, as well as everything else? Or wh where is the challenge in all of it? Where is the really difficult? Like, when, you know, you, you obviously love your customer service. You love dealing with people. You love the business. Where is the bit that you go, God, I wish I didn't have to do that bit? I don't know if there's any of any how if you have any of that I think now since lockdown it's definitely harder juggling it all because your online is a lot more busier than it would have been before lockdown um and then the level hasn't stopped so like now today we're trying to manage all the online orders as well as the shop front which is definitely difficult because we just were used to doing either one or the other do you know that kind of way where it's that part of it is definitely taking its toll but sure it's good to be busy and it's good to it's a good complaint it is indeed. And tell me about, you know, you spoke about family and, and the different generations of the family. And for some people, uh, that might be great. Sure, all the work was done for you, Kate. And sure, all you had to do was just slot in. What, what are the challenges? I think it's <laughs> very harder if you ask me. <laughs> set them straight. Tell them all. What yeah. are the challenges? I think it's like you have to live up to something. Do you know what I mean? And it's making it making your own groove in the place you know what I mean and I know that we're taking it at a different level to the website and everything else but I think it's definitely way harder I think people think I come into work and I have it great and easy um but it's definitely that and it's like working with family too you know every day and all the rest it's definitely tougher we have a great support system and a great team here as well that make it all the easier as well so it's not as bad but it's definitely harder coming into somebody else's shoes because you have to learn from somebody else and then take your own taking it as well and what what suits daddy might not suit me and all the rest and we're different people <laughs> <laughs> and what what great pieces of wisdom did he pass on to you what did he did he share with you just when when you kind of took the reins or well, he's still very much here. Like, I think. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We pushed him out there. Sorry. We'd like know, to well. we'd like to announce live on Zoom today that Kate is actually <laughs> officially taking over. <laughs> I know. Well, I actually it was actually um whenever we came back from lockdown, the Inish Times viewed me and they did the reins that it was Kate taking the reins and Daddy was like, "What the hell?" I was like, "I didn't say that." <laughs> but it's definitely since you know he's definitely taken a back seat and then as well because of the online he's not as interested in it you know what I mean like his forte was shop floor and meeting customers and all the rest that's all they had um so definitely on that way like he's still here like it's just on the more run on day-to-day -day basis he might be here opening at 10 o'clock but he's still here do you know what I mean 
Yeah, and I mean, the thing is, I suppose, you know, just talking earlier on about about personal branding and talking about legacy for the future. Legacy isn't necessarily when somebody go somewhere else yeah. it's what the, what it's the legacy that they've left it's what people have carried through so like he carried through to you and obviously all of the different traits and you in turn will carry on and we were just speaking about that yesterday evening and we were sort of saying is that something you hope one day that a member of your family going forward would you like to see the generations continue or wh how do you think that'll be I think it's going to be very different I don't think Bonnie May well I'm saying Bonnie May like she doesn't have to take it you know what I mean daddy was always very much like if you wanted us there if not he's not a sentimental he's like it's when I went to Australia he was like don't be thinking you have to come back to run a jeweler shop if you do if you don't want it it's not for you it's not for you like my brother never had any interest in it um I was in it since I was 10 but I just think that even since COVID it's brought online forward so fast like it's really fascinating enough the the whole online process and people are getting so used to it now and I don't think the way I'm going to get time out of it, the Bonnie May is going to, like, I think retail is changing so much. So she might get, like, I would say, like, there's always a, there's always room for a jewelers, don't get me wrong, it's a specialized market, but I think it'll be a different aspect of a market for the next generation. And even maybe halfway through mine, I don't know. And family, in terms of your team in, in there, you know, uh, Anna had alerted me to your Facebook tease and your <laughs> the bit of crack that's going on in there I know. Um, and you know that whole thing about letting the public and from a marketing point of view and from a you know customer point of view just setting the scene behind is it how important is that you know to overall success do you think I didn't actually <clears throat> realize how important it was until we started doing it it was kind of an off-the-cuff um thing it kind of was maybe probably about maybe a year and a half ago maybe now or maybe I don't know this time last year was whenever we really got on and people were kind of coming in then and familiarizing themselves or they would come on and say oh I seen you talking on Instagram about this whenever it was whenever you were having your tea at four o'clock you were talking about this or something you know you didn't realize how much people were actually familiarizing themselves with it like the amount of people that you would get that you know people are really interested in the background if I could sell jewelry like I sold them hot or the waffles that we got at four o'clock he was like I'm so busy and I'm like if I can only sell jewelry as fast as he can sell them Do you know what I mean like there's so many things that are like the likes of that like people like to see and people will come in and say where did you just get them waffles you get and I'm like they're down the road <laughs> but that's what they like to see the background of it and then they get to see you know the girls personalities and that they don't feel like they're strangers when they come in to the shop it's more of like a personal thing um but there's certain things you show and you know all that whereas I think it was nice for people to see as well at that we do have a great team <coughs> you know that kind of way and yeah. that we're all we're all really we really are like a family as opposed to staff do you know what I mean like I wouldn't be like oh it's just like the girls are all we're all really good friends and get our work done and do all the best at the same time do you know what I mean it's, it's really a happy-go-lucky situation that we're in but um the likes of the four o'clock tees really took off <laughs> that's I great expecting to. But I suppose what, you, what you're talking about there really is story and storytelling, which is really what yeah. you're doing. And, and the legacy from the days, I'm sure your dad stood at the front door chatting to the postman or the yeah. milkman or whatever. Exactly. And that was his his social media of the day. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. and I mean, if you look now at all your Christmas videos, the likes of Amazon and things like that, beautiful stories. It's all yes, about exactly. a story. So really yeah. what you're doing is creating that story for your community and, and you know, the, the center of the town. So tell me now, um, for everybody that's here, what uh, I was I was looking through some nice things, tagged a few. So what's big this year? What is selling well? What are you excited about that you have online and in store? What what can you entice us with? We've actually just launched a new range of uh, smartwatches this week, and they are flying. Uh, I think definitely everybody's a bit more motivated, and fitness has definitely taken like a trend it's more of a trend now isn't it where we like to see how many steps we're doing and all the rest smartwatches are going really well and another thing that goes really really well for us is the rebecca collection um and that's as well available online on store and all the rest They're brilliant great sellers this Christmas. and your website just so i'm sure everybody on here knows what the website is but tell them anyway yeah so it's just callahanjewelers.com excellent great so um what do you see you know, you spoke a little bit about digital and, you know, retail changing. So I'll ask you two questions uh, or two, within one question. Uh, where do you see Callahan Jewelers in the next few years? And 
Also, where do you see your community? Where do you see Bunkrana and the region? How do you see that changing? And, and how do you think that both will work together? It's, you know, for Callahan Jewelers, I think like it's still very, you're, there's always going to be a Callahan Jeweler shop. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think maybe the online is definitely just going to take off a bit more. You know, people are making the shops bigger. I've been making mine smaller. <laughs> You know, and though, you know, like in a way, like we, for our 60 years in business this year, we had a big renovations planned. And to be honest, it was probably a blessing to say because I don't need that big space now, do you know what I mean? Whereas you need more space for online orders and all the rest and things that are coming. So for the next five years, your five year plan, it's kind of just moving with the times as well. And definitely going for the likes of marketing uh, online everything online and website online like there I think you know you've always got your engagement rings and wedding rings that you need for your services in store uh, and probably I see kind of places like if you go like say like Dublin I always find Grafton Street like I used to work in Grafton Street in the jitters and I always seen how it was changing so much it's literally just services or coffee shops and I feel like retail is definitely gonna I it's probably a, a further bit away but I feel like retail is main streets in the community are definitely going to turn into more services places okay. um which would be like we would do a lot of repairs as well so that would be you know you'd be here for maybe your services and all the rest but maybe your brands just mightn't go as well in store you know maybe that's just the focus of online and getting things delivered to your door sure it's as handy yeah and i mean it, it is difficult sometimes to think that through but you know if you you know even again back to a marketing point of view sometimes you think if, if where is the person that you're marketing to you know I, I used to say if it's a an 85 year old energetic lady she's at bingo on a sunday night or she used to be yes. and that's where you're marketing she might not be on social media so yeah. you know there is that whole thing the generations will change and yes. with that communities and how do you think then in terms of communities do you think that story and that's that you know even you talk about you know repairs which is is still very important and obviously now even more in terms with the ecology and you know eco yeah. whatever so you know it, do you think is the community then going to be important to tie in all around that you know in terms of continuing the story well shopping local like is very important but we have a border on our doorstep we have a border to our, you know what I mean it is difficult um so it's hard to know what way it is going to go because people still like to get out to the shops as well and do their bit but I just feel maybe like online is just going to take over a wee bit I don't, I don't know it's really hard um but I think community is still a big thing especially when Cranon like it is a great town for community spirit and keeping everybody going and I think that will probably help on Cranon that it is it is such a great community that we have there, there's no doubt about that I'm actually sorry I'm a blow in here you know I'm not from <laughs> your area so thank you for letting me in but actually it's something we do kind of admire like you know I'm Finn Valley area we do look to initial own and even yeah. I've noticed over the years in Donegal Women in Business Network that you are a very very close-knit community which is fantastic and so I think that that will definitely work towards um, you know better community and retail experience so Kate top three tips for somebody thinking about going into business or in business early stages or what what three things what are the three real hot things you need to let them know <laughs> probably just stick to your mind as well one of them because there's a lot of different opinions and a lot of different ideas out there um stick to your own stick to your heart you know, is what I always say if I think there's things some certain things I would say to daddy and he'd be like no 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 and I'd be like I'll just go with it and we'll try it and we'll see do you know that kind of way it's just just keep stick to your heart and think what you're going for um really keep on top of things you know you're with your marketing and all the rest um develop that platform of it um and probably just i don't even know what my third would be it's a hard it is like it's top three chats to sound easy but it's not really <laughs> well i certainly if i if i was saying now what i think it is like it's it's your personality and your faith and strength in yeah. family and community you can see that you know again in your in your own brand coming through even apart from you know the jeweler brand or the callahan brand itself you personally i think you know that's important so that you know if that was coming through to us today i think that certainly is something that people would sort of is is just as you said know your mind but also what you bring to it yeah what so you bring just, to it just before we wrap up and ask any questions, I think then that is what, uh, just a very quick question on home life balance. How do you get that balance right? Or do you, or do anybody, does anybody? <laughs> I 
be seeing my house today. <laughs> you wouldn't be saying I'd much balance. <laughs> it's um, it's definitely difficult. You know, it is. It's definitely difficult, especially this busiest time of year. I seen. I remember seeing a quote. Just I was actually in the hospital after I had Bonnie May, and it said that you know, because women are all supposed to be the all rounders. We're supposed to be great to do everything. I think it's women in business it's great and it's motivating but it's definitely tough um balancing everything out and there was a quote and it said people expect women to raise children as they don't work and work as if they don't raise children and that really stuck with me because I was like that is so bloody true and I was only sitting in the hospital I wasn't even allowed to work <laughs> you know I wasn't even doing anything and I think that's a really thing that really is true like the just the way the stamina like even the way people think that this should be done and all the rest and juggling things and everything it is it's definitely hard juggling things but I think with your support system like I have a great family and mommy and daddy you know you'd be lost without them um as well as Nicholas and all the rest so it's great that way that I have a great support system other than that I wouldn't be able to juggle a lot because it is definitely difficult juggling everything Brilliant. Okay. I mean, so we'll have some questions, but I mean, I just want to sum up that, you know, you're an inspiration for, for a young, you know, you know, as we, as we age, we have to be careful with where we put them, but as a young businesswoman, it's very inspiring to see that you still held on to those beliefs, you know, community, customer service, the story is very important and that you're not rushing into, yes, you are accepting digital and moving with digital, but you're not dismissing all that has been there because you see the value in oh, that as well it's what um, we've built over the 60 years so it's very important you know that it's there and like my granddad's motto was from for quality for years and it's something that definitely still carries through brilliant absolutely fantastic so kate that that's brilliant um anna do you want to open the floor to any questions or has anybody yeah, any has questions? anybody anybody questions brendan do you want to step on and, and add to anything <laughs> Please God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a wee question, Kate. Just, um, yeah. What's hot for Christmas this year? What's selling well? Oh, there's, you know what? It's actually, since COVID, it's really hard to get stock. You know, people, all these delays and everything, all the rest. Um, there's so much stock there and then there's so much loads of stuff, but definitely the big thing for Christmas, and I did not think that we were going to get another Christmas out of it, is the Rebecca collection. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's the mm -hmm. you, the initials so you personalize it with your own initial. That is definitely not um, this year again. Another thing that really is back is the gold. Um, I think people are maybe a bit getting a bit sick of plated jewelry. Um, so they see that if you a little goes a long way whenever you spend it, spend a bit more and it'll it'll last you for life. You know the nine carat gold collection. Um, they work it out as a woman told me the last day you have to think about the cost per wear so you get that long out of it and it ends up saving you money in the long run yeah it's funny too isn't it because you know platinum wedding rings and platinum engagement rings and everything were so much the the in vogue like that you can yes. when you see yellow gold in June, I know. I'm kind of going it's gone back full again. circle <laughs> yeah it is it is like I mean? and everything comes back everything the circles turned you know what I mean it's <laughs> Whenever I first started, I remember I was like 10, but I remember people coming in and they were wanting to change their wedding rings from yellow gold to platinum. And now they're looking to change them back again. Now. It's just the way the wheels work. Yellow gold's really coming back. I think it'll be another while before it's fully back, but it's definitely the trends are definitely coming back to the gold market. I know you always did a lot of um, showcases, you know, around the hotels, you know, wedding showcases. Wedding fairs, yeah. Uh -huh. what, what, do you think will that move online or is, is that an option? Or? No. I really don't know like at the minute I think they were thinking for January because like we would have like we would have been away I think last year maybe or the year beforehand we had 23 wedding fairs uh mm -hmm. so that's 23 Sundays you know um out of the mm -hmm. full year and they were a big thing for us like as wedding rings we would sell a lot of wedding rings and it was definitely a place where all the brides and grooms can go and you find everything and I just I know the weddings aren't on either but um I don't know how it's going to move online it's for us it's that it's the consultation part it's the service it's the experience you know that kind of way and I feel like that is something that you can't do online it's got to yeah. be personal mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's got to be personal so I don't know how like they're on about doing things with wedding fairs or I don't know how it'll work with only allowing so many people in and at the one time or mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I think in time I think for at the moment it's difficult for us now yeah. to imagine it because we're still in that kind of 
flight or fight. Uh, I think once that that's kind of settled, I think, you know, it, it might be a few years before it's totally back and we're all back to that kind of stage. But certainly the fact that you are kind of keeping your customer service in, in terms of um, digital marketing, uh, you know, and I'm curious, do you use email marketing at all? Is that a strong part or is that something that you... We used it before. I've actually start, started since COVID using it again. It was literally just getting the time to do it. Thank but you. I have, yeah, I started to do that again and because I found like myself, even since COVID, from all the subscriptions I've signed up to, there, there's so many, much, so much more since COVID because that's probably the only way to target them. Well, not the only way, but it's one a good way yeah. to target them. Um, we've definitely done that um, and, and integrated it into our website and all our customer base and all the rest since these last we probably got about three or four in the last couple of months do you know what I mean I do think that's important too brilliant it sounds like you have every avenue covered so well oh, done I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> very good and Wait, I, I, Sinead do you have a question there first? Uh, Sorry, Sinead. Or can I ask a question or just really in relation to because you probably as you said you're you're kind of in your business since the age of you know 10 and yes. you work through the you know the ranks so maybe now when you're in your the, the managerial you no know, position now do you prefer not do you prefer, is there quite a difference? What's your preference being on the shop floor with the girls or now in your man, is it, you know, being more in the office and, you know, doing all the managerial roles that involves with that? Is there a preference or would you prefer to be on the shop floor as well? I don't mind office work. I quite like office work. It doesn't bother me. Um, when I was 10, I came in and I cleaned glass and I did the general bits. There was no serving in it. <laughs> I was kept just to talk to them until somebody else was ready. Do you know what I mean? And I think definitely it's important to start from the bottom up um, because I feel like I learned from every aspect in time. Do you know what I mean? I didn't. I wasn't like brought in at the age of 18 and everything was just thrown on top of me. I kind of knew where everything was and all the rest. So I, like, even though I am managing, I wouldn't see myself as doing that. Do you know what I mean? It's still the tasks that I've done. So I haven't really changed much. Like if I was doing office work, I'd still do it. Or um, I wouldn't be in one. I'd be kind of floating about in all areas. You know, we've different girls to do different jobs in the other places. And then I would, um, they all have their own parts. You know, they're all roles within the, within the shop. And um, they're all amazing at it. But I feel like sometimes... It's great because I don't have to spread myself as thin, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of be about everywhere. I don't, I don't be, I could be in the office for an hour here and I could be down. If the shop's busy, you have to go to the shop floor. Um, if online's busy, you have to go and pack orders. Do you know what I mean? We're very much all hands on deck in here. Hands on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great, Kate. Uh, a fantastic story. Delighted to hear it today. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Kate, just one final question. I'm interested as well, the diaspora. A market and the global market are those markets you go after at all is that something or is it very much a home market or in what way and and as a like when you, you know in terms of, in terms of the Donegal diaspora that are all over the world or the Irish diaspora is that something you target at all is that something you go after or those people that are living elsewhere the Irish that are abroad is that something oh yeah that... definitely yeah it's um you're kind of online your targets everywhere your markets everywhere do you know what I mean so it's not um whereas whenever you're you're on the store you, you kind of got your Donegal and your dairy area do you know what I mean yes. whereas now you're online it's a completely different aspect you're everywhere's your everybody's a competitor do you know what and, I mean and you have your own brand of wedding bands I believe yes just before COVID I brought out my own uh band four four rings of wedding bands there was plenty more to come but they're not here yet brilliant um while, and, but... and and other plans for other personalized items or what what's the yes, future a few, definitely a few in the making um it's just with COVID everything's so badly delayed but there's definitely so much so many ideas in the making um it's getting time to do it all and when you promise to tell us first promise to tell you first yes <laughs> don't tell anybody else till you tell us first <laughs> what, what's what's the footfall in the town like this week oh Have my god you? mental yesterday was like Christmas Eve brilliant Oh, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. it's great. Like it's a great complaint. Um, the football is great in the town, and there's a lot of um, strangers, but there's a lot of not not locals as well. Okay. Great. You know, there's a lot of people coming and traveling and doing all the rest. So it's it's you know within your own county and all the rest. So it's great. It's it's um great to see the town busy again. Mm -hmm. As long as everybody's staying safe, that's the main thing. I know. That's right. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it? Right. Okay, well, listen, thank you, everyone, for doing that, and Kate and everybody else for joining us. Um, not, not 
Not Indeed. at all. And just to remind everybody to uh, Anna is going to give you some information on Donegal Women in Business Network. Um, yes. 200 uh -huh. members and very much keen to include and involve all the Inishon sector very much some great businesses we want to meet all those 30 under 30 uh, the network's 21 years in existence and it's 50 euro for the year you get registered on the website you can include your your deals and offers in the newsletter and we're always looking for brilliant people like Kate to speak uh, we've ha we've had two sold out conferences in the last four years, and I I told Kate last night. I said, "Jesus, Kate, if I'd known you, you would have been up on Harvey's point or the solace. You would have been up on the stage." Um, actually, we but had, you had a you had a Bunkrana woman on the I, stage. Yes. I was just about to say, Rose, Rose, Rose. Oh my God, that woman was amazing. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, myself, myself, and uh, Rachel McLaughlin from Donegal Woman went down to visit her. And uh, we interviewed her and sure, look, we couldn't get away. And the crack was mighty <laughs> and she was just amazing. And then I was tasked at that conference to make sure that she didn't go over time. So I was <laughs> ho ho hovering beside her. I was like, OK, Rosalind, we need to move on. And then she said, oh, I have to go now. She's she's rushing me along. But oh, such an amazing, amazing woman, um, an honorary member of Donegal Woman and Business Network. So, yeah, we're, we want to see you all, welcome you all. And uh, I want to thank uh, Anna and everybody involved for letting me share an outsider share this beautiful uh which was lovely and we're, we're doing two more next week isn't it we're doing mary mckenna yes, on Monday. mary mckenna um for our um i'll just share this up for you to see yep. our 12 days of christmas i don't know if that's big enough for everybody to see uh, yeah monday the 7th is mary monday, uh -huh. um and mary is and an amazing entrepreneur who has settled into a show and, um, and an angel investor. So great to have that type of skill set and knowledge and experience and be so willing to share it. And la your last interview then the following week is with Deirdre Bradley from Karen Donna. Um, and Deirdre, not only is she a brilliant retailer, but as an ambassador for Karen, oh my God, you know, like Kate, she just, it's its a passion about being where you're from as well as, well as in the business. So there's loads there on the 12 Days of Christmas and it's under the website and the Facebook pages. Um, this is, I'm just going to give, for some reason, this is playing up on me. The list anyway is up for all our 30 under 30s and we're going to be contacting them and getting the poll out. And what we're aiming for is um, some mentoring business mentoring for them um, so that they can then um, look at areas uh, within their business that they really want to get some a bit of help with. So um, that'd be good fun. Um, I think it's just crazy that, you know, just thinking about it and talking about Kate and putting Kate on here. And then it was like, how many other Kates are? And then I shown, you know <laughs> what I mean? And it was like, right, okay. Um, so brilliant, well done. And thank you very much to everybody. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you at other sessions. Thanks, Thanks brilliant. Take Good care. Lunch. God bless. Bye. Thank you very Bye. much. Bye. 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 Bye.